So, I've bought some of Mike's random 52 cards. Well, I bought the pack. You buy it as a digital download off his website, and I will link that down below. Um, and you buy the digital download, and you print it, and it comes with the box. You print it, and you unfold it and glue it down. I think this has got a bit damp, actually. It's colour sleeting. Oh well. Um, yeah, and then you get all these cards with the back. Mine didn't print brilliantly because my ink struggled and I didn't line them up properly. Some of them have got funny line at the back, but they've printed. The fronts are fine, which is what it's about really. So what I'm going to do is grab a card and we will look at it. Okay, so... We've got this colour scheme in the back, and we've got indigo, and we've got the word vision. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Well, that's very interesting. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going to go with this. This is my first attempt with these cards. I was going to have a go and then film a video of one, but... Then I thought, no, we'll just do it together. Hmm. So now I've got to go on. What I might do is have a little bit of a think about this. I might pin this up somewhere and just keep thinking about it and then come back. I, I do tend to take a, a little time to think about things sometimes. Just get some ideas going. So, yeah. I might even take it to work with me and take a little notepad and start making some notes. But I will let you know if I have any ideas. And we'll get started. So I will see you soon. Oh dear me. I'm going to try and speak over the wind because it's absolutely horrendous out there today. I'm going to go to work in a minute. <laughs> Not looking forward to it. Anyway. So this is the card again. Um, we've got some quite bright yellows. We've got sort of more earthy, ochre yellows. So we've got some yellow ochre, and some bright yellow, and some jasmine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a spatula. Um, this page has already been gessoed just a, a sketchbook from, I think it's from Tiger this one, so nothing, nothing special, and I'll just plop some gesso on, and plop some of this on, And then pop some of this on. This one's quite thick. Right, this is probably way too much paint, but we shall see. I'm going to grab this baby white, which is actually... Oh, sorry, my head. Ah, oh, very dry. So that gives the page just a little spritz to help things move. Um, just gonna spread it all around. Way too 
too much pain, definitely. <laughs> Business. That'd be my parcel. So we've got this side is blended a bit differently to this side, so I'm going to go over it. wash my hands and wait for this to dry which will probably take a while so just move that out of the way so I don't get any paint on um yeah so if you look on the card I have laminated these now because I was just worried about yesterday with all that yellow paint all over my hands and everything and I thought I'm gonna muck up these cards so I've only just realised that one looks like it's been splashed already with some water. So yeah, they're laminated now, a bit more hard wearing. And I can just wipe them clean. But anyway, <laughs> if you look up in this corner, there's more of a sort of tealy, bluey colour. So we're going to add that now with this Ducrafts Lagoon and a stencil. And I don't need a lot of it on this side because my focal image is gonna is going to cover most of this page. I really love this stencil though, it's one of my favourite all rounders. I don't know why, I just really like the shapes. I'm going to put a little bit on this side, I think. I can't laminate the box, so the box might get a bit battered, but um, it is a download for life, so you know, if I need to, I can print another one off, no problem, or I can just embrace the mess, <laughs> you know, as long as it doesn't start falling apart, I don't mind it looking grubby, personally, doesn't really bother me. 
know, being an artist, things get, I find things just get dirty, so, you know. Feather Distress Ink. I'm really excited this morning. I've just been really naughty and ordered the new uh, permanent distress inks. The archive ones. All three sets. <laughs> very, very, very naughty. But, you know, I need them. Because I'm going to put this on here, and when I put my image down, it's probably going to move. Because that is the nature of distressing. They get once they get wet, they blur. So and they wash off. So for some techniques, they're going to be fantastic. I'm still going to use them. Pinterest. She probably is copyrighted, but I'm not going to use her for, you know, I'm not going to sell her. She's just going in my art journal. So it's okay for me to use her. And I do want to make a little change actually. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. Some gesso over that area. It might take a few layers to cover it, and then I'll probably paint over it anyway as well. I have sprayed this image with fixative, although I think that's the pencil that's running. I sprayed it front and back with workable fixative. Um, probably, I think it's still running. I don't know if that's a pencil or not. We'll see. Because I may be using some water soluble medium to colour her. And plus, when I glue her down, I'm probably going to use matte medium. And I don't want her to smudge. So while that's going, drying, whatever, um, <laughs> I'm going to start colouring her face. I'm just going to use some Derwent pencils and I will pop this on fast forward because you don't want to sit there and watch the colour, I'm sure.
I'll put her in. Um, she's um, yeah. Just using the lighter colours to blend the dark colours in. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. So I like that. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of teal to match what we have in the background for her eyes. So I hope this brush is small enough. So I'm going to grab oh, my big stick which I'll just put away. Here we go. And I'm just going to spray her so that that pencil doesn't move. There we go. And I'm going to let that dry. Maybe add a little bit more gesso to her bandana headdress thingy. Not sure if that's dry yet, to be honest. dry and we'll be back with the next one. So I'm going to use my gelatos for her hair. I'm going to go for a mixture of sort of yellows and browns.
next to here are the chameleons and I also have these lines which we might use. Um, so got to go for a sort of indigo colour, which I think is gonna be this blue violet in this instance. So, I think I'm going to start with her dress. And I am no expert in these pens. And I think this one needs filling with blending solution. So, I don't think we're going to blend. Okay, so just want to grab some gold paint. Oh no, first I just want to colour the table. Let's do the table. Um, and then we'll do the the gold accents. And then we can cut her out and stick her on. Gold out. Uh, what brush am I going to use? Let's use this one. And then just grab a stencil. Okay. 
I'm going to be very, very careful here. Grab some paint. And I'm just going to try and get this. I don't even know what you call these shapes. Almost done. That's right. Squished. Spelling and means or something. I don't know. Crush shapes. doing this to sort of tie her in with the pattern that we've got in the background. I think we'll go for the dots as well. Up at the top. There we go. Now I'm going to let that dry. And I'll probably be back tomorrow to glue her down and finish her off. Okay, so just quickly, I have cut her out. As you can see, I decided to colour this in the skin tone. Um, really, I should have redrawn this figure and left out the bits that I didn't want. Um, but yeah, it's hindsight. Um, yeah, this doesn't. I don't really like this. Um, I could have, I would have left it out if I'd drawn it out myself. But there you go. So all I'm going to do is just add a bit of cosmic shimmer in the whitish colour. So it won't stand out too much, but it'll, you know, it'll be there. If I'd have drawn it out myself, I think I would have left the candles off. And I don't think I would have added this swirl to the crystal ball. And I wouldn't have added all these stars and dots. So yeah, should have traced her or something really, but I didn't. So I'm going to add some cosmic shimmer to the crystal ball also. Yeah, actually, I like that a lot better now. That's 
sort of blurred out some of those lines, so let's go a bit, a bit heavier. like that. Um, we'll grab the pen and just put some of the detail back in the candlesticks. Outline to the bandana thingy, headdressy thing. There we go. I see fabric folds. Doesn't like going in with that cold paint, I don't think it's dry there we go and I do need to add some gold to that the gold it doesn't have to be perfect because it's mostly going to be covered and you will see that in a bit and yeah so I'm going to let that dry um, once it's all dry I will spray it with some fixative because we've got a lot of water solubles on there and I don't want to smudge when I add my matte medium So, I like the way she looks now, um, I just want to add some of that into the, that indigo into the background as well, I've decided. So, I'm going to try and mix up a sort of indigo colour with this dark violet paint and some blue. Marine blue. Mix that 
together. Loopy paint, I need to use it up for him. It feels like a texture paste, it's that thick. <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's try just a little bit of Payne's Grey. Just a little bit. Actually, I think that's quite good. Got way more paint than I actually need there, but never mind. I'm gonna use that one. And I'm gonna grab this star stencil to reflect the stars that she's got on her. Means we can get some of this darker blue onto this side of the page as well, so it all comes together. Right, let's just 
just have a quick look. Yeah, I think a bit more up there. Just looks a bit bare. Just gonna go across here where her arms are gonna be. Just to create a little bit of interest in those gaps. Right, now I'm gonna use up the rest of my paint on something and let that dry, and we'll be back. Put too much on as usual. Spread it out. Have sprayed with fixative. Again. dry baby wipe I'm just gonna push her down just sticking out that candle's bent there we go for the matte medium. Let's just grab a gel medium. See if I can find it. Okay, so just put some matte medium down on the palette. Doesn't actually feel like I've got any that medium under there the first time. It's bad out there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. I think that'll do. She's stuck down well enough now. Now I have to try and find a quote. So I'll be back. Okay, I found my quote. I'm gonna just write it in my own handwriting with this evil pen. Vision is a okay. 
Grab that Not medium back again. And <clears throat> find my little stars. I thought I had some big ones, but I don't know where they are. <clears throat> I have a gem for here. Oops, I'm going to get my little stuck. Then I need to just grab if I can find the right one. Somebody actually. Yeah, I'll do. I'll just go over these. Stars there. Okay, straighten. Stars a bit. Okay. Uh, I think she's done now. Just let that dry. And we'll see what she looks like when she's dry. Okay. So I mean matte medium is pretty much dry now. So that's our page that we've created based on this card. We've got the teals and the yellows and the ochre colours and the indigo and the word vision. 
Incorporated. It's a really fun page. I really enjoyed doing the card for the first time. I've been looking through some of the cards, some of them look really difficult to do, so I'm not sure if I might skip those ones. I don't know. Some of them have already inspired me, so hopefully I'll pull those ones out next. But yeah, if you would like a set of these cards, as I say, head over to Mike's page. I, it's a free down. Well, it's not a free download. Sorry, it's a paid for download. But then it's you can download it as many times as you like. Um. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.